It must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. When this is little town, how would you like it? This is our new home. I am very excited because tonight I play Pokemon Emerald for the first time ever in my life. I've never played it, I've never watched anyone else play it, and it is an island of unplayed Pokemon gameplay for me within the Gen 1 to Gen 6 period. So I had to get to it. Playing on a real cartridge, the battery is dry, but luckily you can still save. It just means time will be frozen for the entire playthrough at one time, and that's fine. Might be freaky for the people in Hoenn, but I don't mind. I'm going to do a few voices for characters, but not every character. I think I have one for this guy. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Boich. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call... A Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together, and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon to unravel Pokemon mystery time and undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are... Are you a boy or are you a girl? I'm a girl. Because this is the first generation when that was normalized. And I support that. And I've thought about my name. You know how every generation of Pokemon has like the canonical character with a name that is a color? Like blue or gold or silver? I thought about what is emerald colored, and I just thought about it, and I came up with a name. Booger. I'm Booger. Boogers can be emerald green, and they can also annoy people, and I'm going to make it my goal to irritate the fuck out of everybody in Hoenn. I'm gonna menace them. <laughs> like a booger. It's Booger. So it's Booger? Ah, okay. You're your Booger who's moving to my hometown of Litterroad. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. But I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. That was definitely an accent inspired by some region of the country, but it was probably an amalgamation of a few and a butchery of multiple. <laughs> and I don't care. I'm in a truck. 46042. Don't any, uh, don't any ID thieves steal my Pokemon trainer ID number. Okay. Right away I notice everything looks a little different than in Sapphire. Graphical redesign. Okay, I need a voice from my mom. Hang on, I think I have one. Booker, 
We are here, honey. It must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. When this is little town, how would you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Booker. Let's go inside. Ah, <laughs> oh, Mom. Hey, Booker. Isn't it nice to hear you? The movie's Pokemon ready to have the work of moving us in and clean up after. This is so convenient. Booker, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. Thanks, Mom. Wow. So the, I, I have Vigoroth helping move in instead of Machuk. I think that's what it was in Sapphire. I'd actually just played through Sapphire. Like within the last month, in its entirety. I have a GameCube, sick. I'm actually playing this on a GameCube right now, so that's pretty trippy. Game Boy Player. Okay, set my clock to the time it will remain at for all of eternity. I'm just gonna pick a nice time in the evening when it's not too hot. like. Six something. Like six. Six or six. That's a good time. After traditional work hours. Not too hot out anymore. Oka, okay, how do you like your new room? Good. Everything is put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs too. Because that's so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's there on your desk. Such a considerate mom. I have a potion. All right. Cool. We're ready. Jim, maybe Dad would be on. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Brother Shabbat is his name. He lives on next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Good idea. Okay, he's not here. You don't need to explain field work. I was gonna give him a really annoying nerdy voice, but he's not important enough. He doesn't get a voice. I like how my character looks a little different in this game. I have like a green bandana, because it's emerald green. Are you fucking kidding me? This little kid... This little kid is chaperoning me? I'm like older than her. You don't control my life. You don't... You didn't win. You you were this isn't a victory. You think you won, but you didn't win. I'll be back. Alright, here's that fucker's house.
Is this something I can steal? What the fuck? This is new. This is already something new that I didn't see in Sapphire. I'm no one. I didn't think of a voice for this guy. Who cares about him? I didn't know that you're a girl. <laughs> Shut up. It's irrelevant. Like, so what that I'm a girl? You have a problem with that? You assumed I'd be a guy. What the fuck? What? What the fuck? Okay, what the fuck? What? What? Seriously? Come on. Gender stereotypes? Not a good image, Brendan. What are you doing on your computer, nerd? I'm gonna steal this. Why is he leaving a Pokeball in his room on the floor? What a dipshit. I already hate him. You gonna let me pass? Here he is. Hello, you over there. Please help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. Okay. This choice does matter, although I actually don't plan to use my starter in the long term. But I'll choose Mudkip. Let's just tackle this thing. Well, I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh? Hi, your booger. This is not the place to chat, so come to my Pokemon lab later, okay? So, Bugai, I've heard much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plomb. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh yeah, says thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Hmm. Mudkip. Uh, I don't know what to name it. It should name. It should have some name. Even if I'm only gonna use it for knowing HM moves, it's really just gonna be like a little. Skiff for me to cross water, bodies of water on. I'm not going to be particularly creative. It's just much skiff. It's a much skiff. No. No. Fuck you. You see what's going on? He won't let me leave without spending time with his kid. He's blackmailing me. He's forcing me to babysit his kid for him because he won't spend time with his kid. He doesn't want to do it. You're a responsible asshole. 
I'm not going to do the voice anymore. <laughs> It'll kill my voice if I do it forever. Plus, I'm not even going to be talking to this guy forever. Okay. Can we go now? So yeah, if anybody didn't know, I'm a gigantic Pokemon fan. I play a lot of other games. I love a lot of other games, like Dark Souls, Golden Sun, Final Fantasy games. But Pokemon has been a constant since I was pretty young. First game I ever owned personally, I think, was Pokemon Blue. Potion. Interesting. I swear, even the buildings look different than they did in Sapphire. I would need to see a side by side comparison to see exactly what's different, but the trees look different. And the Pokemon have little animations. That's also new. didn't get much gift of little experience. Since it's my only Pokemon to rely on right now. It won't be long before I catch my first permanent team member. My first Pokemon that I plan to take to the end and win it all with. I'm pretty sure the one I'm looking for can be found pretty early in the game, at least. Maybe another one, too. Nice. I'm gonna try to be pretty thorough in this playthrough, since this is the first time I played this. I'm playing this game. So I want to, uh, you know, see all I can, not miss much. But it's not going to be like a 100%, you know, anally 100% playthrough. I don't need to do absolutely everything. I'm just playing through without a guide or referencing the internet at all. As I usually do with any game. You'll teach me what being a trainer's about. We'll see. Ultimately, I don't care. This isn't even a Pokemon I want to use in the long run. But I would like the money from beating you. Brendan. Whoa, what the fuck? I should've healed, I guess. My fault. Well, I'm fucked. I'm probably gonna die. Fuck. Well, that sucks. All the way back here. <laughs> That's very embarrassing as a Pokemon veteran to let that happen. I was too carried away with talking. How much money did I lose? I still haven't saved once. Eh, I lost a little bit. It should be fine though. Let it be a lesson. I'm not gonna reset at all. Whenever I die, like, whenever I lose all my Pokemon, that's just gonna be a painful lesson for me in this playthrough. Like, don't fuck up. Pokemon is serious business. You keep losing at Pokemon, you will go broke. You will be on the street. I need to learn, you know. 
I've realized as I've gotten older, I appreciate games for the aspect of deprival in some of them. Like a Fire Emblem game where you have limited resources in the early ones. And you have to worry about permanent death. It's like a factor and you can't just rewind time to prevent deaths. I like being deprived and stressed in games because it makes all the decisions you make that much more impactful. Okay, fuck this Zigzagoon. I need to fight Brendan. You're gonna die, Brendan. Your little... Your little tree code... I'm gonna defeat it. I'm gonna tackle your tree code. early part of the game is never as fun as later. It really gets fun later when you have more Pokemon to choose from. You can catch whatever you want. That's better. Give me your money now. 300? Wait, wait, wait. I gave him like 1500. He gives me 300. So if that's half of your money, he only had 600. So he's a poor, destitute dipshit. Hopefully that's the last loss ever in the game. I didn't need that comment, Brendan. Don't need you to tell me to hustle back. That makes up for, you know, the rest of the money that you didn't pay me back, that you should have given me back. Am I done with these guys? Nice. Okay, I think I'm free. Maybe not quite yet. I guess I have to get running shoes, right? Wait, Booker. Booker, Booker. When did you introduce yourself to Professor Budge? What an adorable Pokemon. You got it from Professor Budge. How nice. You're your father's child, alright? Okay, I can't do that, boys. I'm not doing it well right now. Hang on. Here, yeah, buddy. If you're running out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip in your step. You can come home. Go on, go get the money. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, Mom. Okay. Oh, dear. I like the little, uh... Location name on a sign that appears. That's cool. Also new. I don't think there's anything I need to do in this town. Alright. Uh, I'm definitely not going to do tons more voices the rest of this playthrough, but... It helps to do a few in the early part of the game to keep things a little more entertaining. Because things are otherwise a little boring. Until I start getting my own Pokémon. And start getting into all sorts of cool adventures with them. Me too. I think I'm gonna have to fit in. Am I good? Up. Uh, be more careful. You can't be reckless. Heal up. I gotta conserve my money if I can, because... I would like to purchase a TM or two later at a game corner in Mauville. Provided they have the same stuff game corner had in Sapphire. Don't worry. I would never say no to a challenge if it's an opportunity to cream you, Calvin. Get Mud's gift. Level 5. Fairly high level for a little kid. Little kid on the first route. Finish it. Good. Hopefully I can get my first Pokemon of my desires pretty soon so that I can just start leveling it up. Go ahead and save. wonder if in this grass I might find what I'm looking for. So about how I catch Pokemon in this playthrough, I'm going to do something different than I usually would in a Gen 3 or later Pokemon game. Because usually I would catch... Uh, I would keep like shutting the game off and repeatedly catching the same Pokemon. I would keep doing that until I get one of the right nature I want to like, you know, have the right stats boosted. But I'm not going to do that this time. I'm not going to bother with any of that. I'm just going to accept whatever whatever Pokemon of the species I want, I get the first time I catch one, if I find it. I won't look around here forever if it doesn't look like it's here. Might as well go on. It's more fun if I just accept what comes to me on the first try. Because that way, like, if something humorous happens, like, say I end up with an entire team full of just sassy nature Pokemon, and, like, I'm just, I have the sassy Pokemon team for some weird, weird reason, you know, that can just happen and everybody can just laugh at it. 
regardless, you know, even if it's bad for me strategically. And it'll make everything more entertaining, because then I'll struggle more. <laughs> you know, it's better for me to have handicaps. I don't think I need to pick any berries. I don't think I need berries. Leave them there as decor decorative items. Try one more. And then, anything else here? Just Whirlpool and Puccina. Okay. Maybe that's the case. Let's move on. I do not choose you, Puccina. You are not what I'm looking for. Somehow it feels like the colors are more vibrant in this game versus Sapphire. A man in pursuit of power. You know, this is pretty nervy to come up to someone you don't know and just say, Do you know what Pokemon trainers do when they reach a new town? Okay, well, how do you even know I'm a Pokemon trainer? What if I'm like a doctor? What if I'm a lawyer? What if I'm a, you know, I could be anything. You assume too much. He wants me to go in here and I know he's not gonna let me leave the town until I go in here. Hi, Dad. Who's this nerd? Wally. I of course knew who Wally was. I can't believe he's making me go with Wally. -E. Like, make Wally -E go catch his own Pokemon. He'll grow more from doing it on his own. Then again, I guess I was just, like, gifted my first Pokemon and I didn't even have to catch it, so... I guess he's doing more than I had to. He got a level 7 Zigzagoon? Jeez. Giving him a level 7 Zigzagoon. Hurry up, catch your damn waltz. Choke. 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 <laughs> I'm just trying to distract him and off to the side. Your Pokemon. Do 
you better. What a nerd. Understood. Whatever. Whatever, Dad. Whatever. I'm at that age. Who the fuck are you? Stranger danger. Get the fuck away. Don't you assume. You strange man in sunglasses. What does that mean? No, just assuming I'm not a talented trainer. So he just left with an insult. Charming. Charming. That asshole didn't come up to me in a sapphire. Jeez. Okay. Pokemon are around here. I just heard a wild Pokemon. I heard it cry. One thing I'm really already digging is the music. Listen to that music. This this game has some of the best music on the GBA. Truly an excellent soundtrack. <gasps> That's it. That's that's one of the Pokemon I'm looking for. I've found it. Wingle. That's right. Wingle. I'll bet people are surprised. Oh, you're gonna train a Wingle? You're gonna make a Wingle good? Damn right I am. I've never trained a Wingle before. But it has potential. I'll make it strong. Okay, let's see if I can get this one. A male. Gender doesn't really matter. Has no functional effects on the Pokemon I'm going to be training. I'm not going to be breeding. I'm not some weirdo. Actually, I shouldn't judge people who breed Pokemon. I mean, you know, it's a it's a game mechanic. It's a game mechanic you're free to use. Okay, I think here we go. All right, Wingle was caught. This is the one, the one Wingle. It's going to go on to dominate. It makes its nest on a sheer cliff at the edge of the sea. Has trouble keeping its wings flapping in flight? I'll fix that. I'll make it stronger. You won't have trouble flapping after I'm through trading you. It needs a name to reflect how feared it will be. Grimgle. Needs a metal name, you know. Grimgle. <laughs> Very good. Right at at the front. You start getting all the experience. Bashful. Keen eye ability.
That's a good ability. I'll keep Mudskiff around just as security. Try to make sure I don't, you know, go wiped out. Maybe I'll just try to level up uh, Grimgull a little bit. Like, kill some weak Wurmples here for a sec. A level or two will help before I go through the forest. Oh, there's a low tad here. I didn't know that. Kind of makes me wonder about a different Pokemon I'm looking for. Okay, run away from this. Hmm. Interesting there, low tad here. Come on, give me something else. Something non grass. That should work. Just need to do a tiny bit of level grinding here. Water gun. Water gun is actually a pretty good move for a very low level Pokemon. Excellent. Already dominating. I'm really looking forward to training this Wingle because it's a water flying type, and when it evolves, it can use both surf and a fly. And that's attractive to me because one thing I'm going to do in this playthrough is I'm going to not. I'm not gonna like be switching Pokemon back and forth between PC boxes and my party to get, you know, HM slaves out to do their jobs. Like, no, I'm not doing that. That's a chore. That's annoying. Nobody wants to watch that, and I don't want to do that. So, I'm gonna do what I've instead enjoyed a lot more when I've done it in the past, which is... I'm going to have every... Member of my party, serve a purpose in the overworld navigation. Or, I'm gonna have all those needs met by my party. That's what I should say. So, all the HMs I need, my party's gonna know them. Won't have to be getting my mud skiff out of the box. It'll just, you know, be boxed eternally at some point. Pretty interesting that I'm playing Gen 3 right now. I'm so excited to be doing so because uh, when I was younger, I actually kind of had a thing against Generation 3 and the Hoenn games specifically. I don't know what it was. I think I was just a little stubborn and at that time didn't want to admit how good the Generation 3 games were. I was just being stubborn and wanted to look at how different they were from like the first Pokemon games. And I picked out a few things like Pokemon contests as silly and unnecessary and like dismissed the games kind of overall as a result of that. Still played through Sapphire as a kid. Still loved it. Had a good time. But I didn't let myself enjoy it quite as much as I did the previous Pokemon games. Which is a shame, because it led me to not look into Emerald for a long time. These are, in fact, pretty excellent games, I think. Some of the best on the GBA, for sure. I've probably put more hours into Pokemon Red and Blue 
if you count those as just, you know, one game. Uh, but honestly, even just one of them, I've probably put more hours into Pokemon Blue than any other game. Period. There's no other game that comes close. That's how much Pokemon I've played in my life. Because I just keep revisiting these games throughout the years. I've even played Pokemon Red and Blue in my adult years. Like, within the last five years. And I'm gradually working my way through newer Pokemon games. I've only played Gen 6 up till now, but I did actually just buy Pokemon Moon for cheap on eBay, like 20 bucks. So I'm gonna play Gen 7 for the first time pretty soon, too. Other than that, the newest Pokemon game I've played is Arceus Legends. I liked that one a lot. But yeah, there really were some cool things about Generation 3. Also, if you... You know, things that changed for the better later. This is the last generation where... Every move type is just all across the board physical or special. So water, all water moves are just all special. And they all operate on special defense. Like there's no physical water move. And so on. That's the way it used to be. It was kind of kind of a stiff, outdated mechanic, but it worked well enough. What do you have to say? You talked too much. That went on too long. Level 5. I'm just gonna get like one more level up, then I will travel west. Further. I've never been too fond of the Pokemon contests. I did always think that was kind of a lame thing in this game the Gen 3 games. But on the bright side, I think all the water you explore is really cool. Some people may not, may not like it, but I think all the watery areas are cool because you can go underwater and that's unique. That's a first. You couldn't explore vast underwater areas in other games and there's some big underwater areas you can go to in this game. Once you have dive, it's just more adventure. Also, the graphics got quite a bit better. Arguably, the sound and graphics both had quite a big leap in Gen 3. From where Gold, Silver, and Crystal were. Pretty big improvement. And I think, probably most importantly, a lot of cool Pokemon were introduced. Like at the time, back when I used to be a little biased against Gen 3, I would not give due credit to the cool Pokemon of this generation, but there are really a lot of cool ones. Thinking about this playthrough, it was pretty hard for me to decide what Pokemon I wanted to be training. Ultimately, I decided on a team. I've got a team in mind I'm gonna aim for as I go throughout the game. And I think they're all brand new Pokemon for me that I've never trained. I may have captured one or two before, but like, never spent much time with them. Level 6, that's good. I'm ready.
I noticed it like takes a little extra second to get into a Pokemon Center. Like it takes a minute to load, or a second to load. But not in here. I'm just gonna get a few more Pokeballs, like... Yeah, you know, just a few. Stock up a bit. Let's see if there's somebody I can fight here. Oh no, not a trainer. I'm gonna be seeking out trainers to fight. Actively fighting as many as I can. Because I learned when I played Sapphire recently and kinda didn't fight absolutely everybody, I was a little under leveled by the end of the game. I had to spend some time grinding. So you really do need to build up all the strength you can as you play this game, and uh, it helps to be consistent with the Pokemon you use. Don't switch around up, you know, a bunch of Pokemon and spread your experience too thin among them. Otherwise, it'll give you a harder time at the end. You won't have any one this strong team of Pokemon to use. You gotta settle on a team and commit to it. Supersonic, nice. C dot. This is actually a Pokemon that I want for my team. That's right, C dot. I'm gonna try to take it down with water again. I know this is maybe unwise, but I'm gonna see if I can do it. Supersonic and water gun. Tape isn't everything. My other Pokemon is water type anyway. This is good. Maybe I can check in my Pokedex where the hell C dot is. I know it's in this game. I know that Sapphire is the only Gen 3 Hoenn game that doesn't have it. Drown. <laughs> drowning your sea dot, drowning your sea dot. Grim Gull wins. Nice. A lot of experience. And I made a child cry. Very good. Give me your money. But you were gonna use it to buy candy. Not anymore. Mine. <laughs> Where's C dot? Oh what the fuck? You're telling me C dot was on the route I was just on? And I just didn't run into it? What? That doesn't make sense. Wait, wait, wait. What? So Lotad and Seedot are both there? How is that possible? Did I just really get unlucky? Are they kind of rare? I feel like I found every other Pokemon on that route. Except Seedot. Where the fuck is Seedot? Give it to me. Give me the Seedot. I don't wanna I don't wanna level up my Grim Gold too much. Otherwise I'll kill the seed out when I find it, potentially. 
All this grass is the same, right? <laughs> Should be. Oh, there's a rot here too. I guess I did see while you catch one. It's just really rare, apparently. Is C dot more rare than that? What the fuck? I'm confused. Damn it. Must find C dot. Zigzagoon. This is just ridiculous. Are you here or not? C dot. <sighs> the Pokedex says it's here. The Pokedex says it here says it's here. But I'm only seeing Zig Zigoon, Lotad, and Wormple, and Derolts. Is that grass just unlucky? For C dot finding? Is this a glitch? Am I in a anti C dot? Am I in an anti C dot dimension? What is going on? So, Pokedex. C dot. I am in the area. That's glowing. It's here. So why isn't it here? Is it like a 1% encounter rate? Is it like the rarest of the rare Pokemon on this route? This is becoming ridiculous. Like, my progress is really being held up now. By not being able to just find this one Pokemon that I would really like on my team. Please? Please? I'm kinda concerned. Like, what the fuck? This seems abnormal. Would saving, like, reset something in the code that is, like, preventing C dot from appearing? I'm, like... I'm extremely puzzled. What about this grass? Are they like in trees? Do you have to headbutt trees to make them appear here on this route? Or something? Is it something crazy like that that I'm just not thinking of? I'm starting to think I should just give up and maybe you find C dot by headbutting trees. That might be the case. You know, it's like an acorn. Maybe you just have to shake a tree to get it to fall out. Hmm. Where else are they on the map? Hmm. Well, hopefully I can find one at some point. I'd really like one. I'm convinced I'm not going to find one in the grass there, though. I checked a lot. Pretty well convinced. 
Probably just wasted a lot of time and looked pretty dumb. Raining out at home. Grimgold can kill your Zigzagoon, no problem. Confuse it. Yes. Waterlog that rodent. I think it's a rodent. Very good. Might have to go heal. If it is the case that you need a headbutt to find a C dot, and you have to like headbutt a tree, I mean, I'll probably be able to do that at some point. I think there's another Pokemon I'm gonna get that's going to know headbutt, actually. So if that's the case, it won't be a disaster. I'll still be able to get one, but maybe it'll take a long time. Which would be the only downer. Okay. I think I can proceed to the forest. Oh, we'll find out later. Oh, a fisherman. Okay. More battles. A Magikarp. Let's just confuse it to make this go faster, if possible. Because Water Gun's not going to do a lot of damage. Need my Grimgold to learn a flying move. Or just some, some non-water move. To have more versatility. This is such a lame battle. I'm confusing a fish, hoping that it will cause it to kill itself faster. <laughs> Like, I promise it'll get better. I promise battles will get better later. This is just a lame early game battle. But now I'm rinsing the fish with water, which probably helps it since it's out of water and needs some water to like breathe water through the gills, you know. Unless I'm spraying deoxygenated water at it that doesn't have any oxygen in it, in which case a fish wouldn't be able to use it to breathe. It'd be like dead water, you know? Water with zero oxygen content. Not sure if water Pokemon can do that. What do you say? Hey Magikarp, you don't live up to your name, do you? Oh, and he said it was magical.
Well, I mean, if he gets it to evolve, it won't be as bad. Although, Gyarados and a few other Gen 1 Pokemon did take a stat hit when Gen 2 happened, and Special was split into Special Defense and Special Attack. That is true. Like, Gyarados used to just have a special stat that was quite high, but it got split, and what used to be its special stat just became special defense, and it kept that value, but then special attack took a huge hit, so now Gyarados isn't as strong. That kind of stuff happened. Rebalancing. There were some high special stat Pokemon in Gen 1 that just wrecked everything. Why are you looking for Shroomish? Just because you love them? That's weird. You're weird. This music has a good bass. I'll battle you. So this didn't change. Team Aqua's right here. Team Aqua's also right here in Sapphire. I'm not sure if that's the same in Ruby. I assume it may be different. Very good. Level 9, that's kind of a high level opponent. I think I can take it. This Wingle is, like, doing quite well so far. The Supersonic and Water Gun combo is working well. Even though Supersonic has pretty bad accuracy. I don't need your Great Bell, I already have Pokeballs. I'm simple, I just use Pokeballs. I don't mess around with all these... Pokeball derivatives and fancy versions, you know. Except maybe Master Ball. That's, that's useful. If you want to catch something that's very hard to catch. I doubt I'll be using the Master Ball in this playthrough, though. I don't think. I just don't have a reason to catch any legendary, like, Pokemon. Too powerful. It just makes the game too easy. Not interested. It is a nice name, isn't it? I'm glad someone appreciates it. Booger, would you like to learn about berries? <laughs> yes! Sure, why not? Say my name again. <laughs> well, unfortunately... <laughs> okay, let me read this. Please help me, Booger. <laughs> uh... Unfortunately for her, time has stopped, and plants don't grow anymore. We're kind of living in an apocalyptic world. Ah, uh, but they don't bloom. She thinks they bloom, but they don't bloom because time has stopped. But thank you for the whale merpil. It's cute. Oh, they don't have a will to live when time has stopped. You'll find they have no will to live when that's the case. At least I got some free shit in here. Give me that. I'm never gonna do that. No candy. Fuck off.
Fun little diversion. Just wanted to see if anything was different in there. I like the water outlooks with the wind. Did I just save? I'm gonna save again. Well. Things are going well. But I think I'm gonna call it here for this first video. This first leg of my Pokemon journey through Emerald. Made good progress. Got through the forest. And next, I'll get closer to Rustboro City and challenge my first gym. I heard another Pokemon. They're watching me in the woods. I'll be back.